Welcome back. Rich Glauber here talking about music theory in a simple way. We're going to talk about chords, but first we're going to talk about something more important. Instead of using the letter names for these notes, we're going to use numbers. Here's our C major scale. But we're going to give them numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. We give them numbers. They're easier to manage that way. You've heard of like a one, four, five, one, four, five. That's what it sounds like. One, four, to the five, to the four. So what we do when we make the chords in the key of C, say we're going to use the notes of the C major scale, all white keys, and we're going to stack them. We're going to play first, third, and the fifth, and that's going to be called the one chord. It's a C major chord. The two chord is going to be a D minor chord. The three chord is an E minor chord. The four chord is F major, the five chord is a G major, the six chord is an A minor, the seven chord is a B diminished, back to the one chord. They all have their characteristics. So we could say one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, three, two, one. We can talk about the numbers. If we want to talk about the most important chords are the one chord and the five chord and the one chord. One and the five and the one. So many songs go to the five chord and to the one chord. Watch my left hand. One to the five to the one. Five one, five one, five one, five one. We're so used to that day -o. Me say day-o, daylight come and me wanna go home. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Five chord to the one chord, the one chord, the one chord. The five goes back to the one. The five goes back to the one. The chord built on five goes back to the one. 